Hey, Mo Trapper, I just wanted to do a little uh, update, season update kind of a thing. Uh, so you can see back here, I got two coyotes so far this season. Uh, I just caught that coon this morning, so he's uh, freshly on the board. And I got six other raccoons um, that are finished and, and off the board now. So took those coyotes off the board a couple, couple days ago. Um, <clears throat> I'm drying out here in the garage. It's pretty cold out here pretty much all the time. Um, so that raccoon will probably be on that board for a week, maybe a little bit more. Uh, and I know a lot of guys drive faster than that, but I don't know what it is. I guess it's just the cold. You know what I mean? It's pretty cold out here. Um, so if I had a heater out here or fans or stuff, I'm sure they would drive faster. But I mean, they come out fine. So I'm not too worried about it. I just let them hang on the board and dry until they're dry. Um, but uh, the two coyotes there, so, you know, nice fur on both of them. Um, probably the nicest furred coyotes I've caught. Nicer than last year's coyotes by quite a bit. So I'm um, hoping those turn out well. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that I wanted to talk about was the three cats. So uh, if you've looked at the channel lately, you'll you'll notice that the uh, I, I've done three videos uh, just in the past four days, I think. Put up three videos about bobcat catches. And uh, I know I'm gonna get questions about how to catch coyote or how to catch bobcats based on, you know, three cats in four days is, is pretty good. Um, and people are gonna wanna know, you know, like the secret. And the secret is, I don't know. <laughs> the secret is I don't have a secret. The secret is I'm getting lucky. Uh, just so everybody knows that, you know, I'm, I'm not some kind of um, super cat trapper by any stretch, not a super trapper at all. Um, but I'm also, I also don't have, there's no, there's no secret sauce. I'm not using anything that you guys, you know, can't go buy yourselves. Um, I caught um, two of the cats on products from Ozark Mountain Lures. One was his Border Patrol bait. The other one was the Burn Circle Bobcat. Uh, and the, the third cat was caught on Clint Locklear's Cat Collector. So those were the baits and lures that I was using. Um, and uh, let's see, yes, all three of those cats were caught on uh, what I call a compass set. Uh, I think Live More Outdoors has done some videos on compass sets. And basically it's just the trap. So if you think about the trap being in the middle and then one north, south, east, and west, if you just punch a hole, like with a driver, uh, at the four points of the compass around the trap, so you know, just off the dog, just off the front jaw, and just off each lever, um, and put a little bit of lure in all those holes, um, now, of course, I'm, I'm trapping on farms where I've got trail cameras. The farmers have trail cameras out. They've had them out for a long time, years, um, and they consistently get cats on camera. So, you know, they share the pics with me and I, I can see exactly where those cats are walking. So I'm setting on location 100%, but it's not because I'm good at finding cat locations or, you know, cat tracks or anything like that. I mean, I find some. But, uh, but there's nothing super secret about what I'm doing. So if you have farms where the farmers have trail cameras, ask them to see the pictures. Don't just, you know, um, you know, cause I, I've had them, you know, they'll say, Hey, I've got coyotes on this camera. I've got cats on this camera, whatever. See if they'll send you the pictures because the difference between, you know, one side of a two track and the other side of a two track can make all the difference. So if you can actually get the pictures and see exactly where those cats are walking, um, you know, you're gonna do a lot better, I think. Um, and I'm just setting those compass sets right in the trail, exactly where that cat has walked on that camera in the past, and it, it seems to be working. So that's uh, three cats in four days now. So um, having a pretty good season so far. I wish I had more coyotes hanging up here behind me. Um, uh, you know, the raccoons, you know, I'm just taking the big ones. Um, I got one large, one XL, I think. Everything else is 2X and 3X. Uh, the one I took this morning is a 2X. I thought it was a 3X, so I need to get a little bit better at judging him uh, kind of, you know, live because I would have bet you that he was going to be a 3X and he was real close to 3X but not stretchable to 3X, so he's a 2X. So probably not <laughs> worth the time and effort that I put into him, to be honest with you. But, um, but anyway, we'll see. Um, having a good season so far. Um, I would really like to get a few more coyotes. I've got some traps out right now on good locations. So I think, you know, that's, that's probably going to be something in the future where I will have a few more coyotes. Uh, we've got some rain coming in 
and it's really sloppy already. And to get back to those sets, I don't think it's going to be possible. So I think tomorrow uh, morning it's going to be the last check on three traps that I have out right now. And, uh, and we'll see probably, you know, two or three days before I can get back out there and reset them. I'd like to set some more on this farm as well. But, um, but anyway, that's the season update so far. And uh, the R traps are working well, you know, catching and holding coons in those, no problem. Uh, I did have a few set off that didn't have raccoons in them. And that's the first time I've ever had R trap set off that, you know, where it fired and didn't catch anything. But there are cows in these fields and I had some really sweet smelling stuff in a couple of them. And those were the ones that got hit. So I think those cows smelled them. Uh, and as I showed you before on that R-trap, they can actually be set off, you know, from the outside if you were to bump that lever. So I think that's probably what happened. I think it was probably cows. Um, but anyway, um, the, uh, I haven't caught anything in the Duke 550 yet. I've had one out pretty consistently, and it just isn't the one they pick for whatever reason. I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, putting it in especially good spots or especially bad spots. It's just kind of in the mix. Um, all the bobcats so far have been in MB 550s. Uh, one was a double pad catch, so it caught both front paws. The other ones were just, you know, good front front paw, full pad catches. Um, trying to think of what else. I think that's about it, guys. Uh, I hope to have some video of some coyotes coming up soon, and uh, and we'll see how the rest of the season goes. Thanks for watching.